Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Firefly Tarot. Today we're going to be doing a pick a card reading for who is still thinking about you. So this one is going to be for either love or friendship or whatever situation. And obviously based on that question, this is someone that you did know from the past that you are not in communication with or seeing at the moment. Okay, so... Um, yeah, it's someone from the past and f from however long ago, I'm going to try to pick up the strongest energies of who's still thinking about you. And then as we go along, we'll get a chance to see what's been on their mind and just the whole situation there. I'll do my best, of course, to give you some specific clues like in some past videos. So we'll see what comes up. And I don't have the crystals because I thought um, it would be kind of cool to use these extra cards that are on top of the the regular cards that I use and the the groups are just going to be the main colors of each one and then that's how I'll list them in the description so um, this is a general reading it might not resonate exactly and if you want info on the personal readings um, just check out the link in the description box there because I it's back up again okay um, so we have here the four groups and group number one is going to be this uh, black and green card. There's a lot going on on that card though. Group number two is this purple card. Group number three is this blue card. Group number four is this orange card. Okay, so again, we have group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. So just take as much time as you need. Go with that gut feeling. The timestamps are going to be in the description and in the comments. And have an open mind, you know, clear the channel, take some breaths. And try not to think of any one particular person, so just keep that open, clear channel for this type of reading. Whenever you are ready, I will see you at your reading. Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number one. So who is still thinking about you? Let's take a look. Spirit, this is for group one and whoever is still thinking about them, someone from the past. just shuffle one more time. Please provide us with clear guided messages for group one and who is still thinking about them. Okay, so let's see. Let me just open up the energies. Okay, spirit for group one. For group one, who is still thinking about them? What are the energies there, spirit? For group one, who is still thinking about them? I'm seeing here someone that you used to work with as the first card with the Six of Pentacles there. Um, let's see. That was very uh, 
a very swift message there. Okay, so that was the first one. The Six of Pentacles. Okay, so possibly somebody that you either either used to work with or you used to associate with in that kind of way. So like, for example, if you weren't previously working, then this has to do with someone that you knew in a not like professional way, but someone who was not a friend or an acquaintance. So yeah, it's either that, someone that you just used to deal with, um, or specifically someone from work. Um, this person was possibly in a higher sort of status than you. So that could translate into, okay, maybe they were, you know, something like, um, not, I'm not really getting like a boss kind of energy, but I, I am kind of sensing someone who is just like slightly um, either higher, more experienced or um, possibly older. Okay, so that's that's one aspect of it. We have here the Justice card could be for some of you speaking of a Libra, but um, let's see what else comes up. Oh, well, we have another sign. So let me not start rattling off all the signs. Um, you have the Moon card here. You have the Fool, you have three major arcanas right there in a row, and then you have the Two of Cups. Okay, so I said in the, I said in the intro that it might be either, either love or friendship, but for here, since you have the Two of Cups, this is a very heavy love energy there already, okay? So, um, this is looking like someone who possibly wished for some kind of a new beginning or taking a risk with this Fool card. But they were very confused, very clouded by things. They felt kind of swung off of their usual balance because of their feelings towards you. So this means that, well, to me, it can suggest that there was something that they felt was wrong about these feelings. Okay, um, because you have it's interesting because you have the two the two sets of scales here, and I am seeing a struggle with balance in regards to that. So yes, um, they might have felt guilty for these feelings, all right? Um, so I am going to clarify the thing about work because I do find that a bit curious and that's a very, that is a very specific thing. And even, not to say it's too specific for a general reading, but um, I, I'm sensing that, you know, it's not always going to be 100%. Some of you it was work related, uh, so I'm going to clarify that in, in a little while. Let's see what else. Um, yeah, they were definitely confused by their feelings. I feel that uh, many of these, many for many of you, they didn't actually say anything. I'm kind of sensing um, a bit of a distant crush kind of a feeling more than anything else. Um, although, even though the Two of Cups did come up, it does show that there was attraction. You know, there was that sort of feeling of gravitating towards you. At the same time, um, part of that guilt or part of that confusion was sort of a feeling of like, okay, well, I like this person, but it probably won't be good for me or it won't go anywhere or just kind of like a lot of that, a lot of those guilty or confused feelings about you. Okay, Spirit, um, what else can you tell us um, <clears throat> for group one? What else can you tell us? Who is still thinking about them for group one, please? Who is still thinking about group one, please, here? It's a weird mix of energy I'm getting from this person. So um, I'm getting both confidence and passion while also getting tones of a lot of insecurity and um, like that doubt kind of feeling that I was, that I was mentioning. So I'm thinking maybe this means that they normally are a bit more on the confident side, but there was just something about you that kind of knocked them down a couple of pegs and made them unsure of themselves. Because here we have the Knight of Wands. So I do feel that there is um, a confidence and a, and a certainty about that vibe, right? So that fiery energy. Oh, look, and you have the King of Wands. So that's an interesting thing. Look, <laughs> I just kind of, <laughs> that's, that's weird. Um, because it kind of came out right as I was saying it. That's really strange. See, there's fire here. There's confidence here. But notice that you see, like, what you do is you kind of make this person feel like they've, not to say like you make them feel younger, but that might be the case, actually. Like, oh, you make the king 
turn back into a knight. So you're, you're making this person feel younger, but what that kind of means to me is you just made them feel a bit either just nervous or like fluttery or just kind of like um, making them take some steps back and they weren't as sure of themselves. They just didn't have their stuff together. You know that phrase? Like they just didn't quite feel on point. Um, King of Wands also does remind me of some uh, work energy because the King of Wands is an energy of <clears throat> some some like team leader, you know? So like if for some of you it wasn't work, this could have been, you know, for some of you who are like in, uh, were you in school or something like that? Um, just someone who has the vibe of either a leader or um, someone who is just like in charge or s not authority per se, but just someone who is just like of a, a like higher status in terms of experience or something like that. Okay, so that's what I'm getting so far. And let's see, we also have the Death card, and we have the King of Pentacles. All right, so King of Pentacles, kind of a similar vibe there, okay? So there could be notes of wealth. You have two kings so far. So a lot of maturity, experience, confidence, normally, right? Feeling very grounded and being really successful, right? So this is a person who has had a lot of success in that way. Um, let's see what else. So let's actually clarify two cards now. Okay, so I'm sorry if you guys got some like distant buzzing, but my phone, I have to mute it when I do these things. So if you, I just muted it now. So I'm sorry if you got some buzz buzz. Um, so let's clarify the six of pentacles. Yes, Spirit, what can you tell us about the six of pentacles? Six of what can you tell us about? Please clarify the Six of Pentacles. All right, so yeah, this person definitely didn't say anything, but they really wanted to, because look at how the cards, see? They wanted to express themselves, but they just didn't have a strong enough reason to break this kind of barrier that they created in terms of thinking about it. Um... Let's see. Spirit, can you tell us anything about the Six of Pentacles? Okay. So clarifying the Six of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Pentacles, which does, to me, kind of signify work again, because the Eight of Pentacles has to do with working really hard and in a very focused way on some kind of project or skill. It could also talk about apprenticeship. Okay? So you see how all of the vibes are kind of the same in that in that way so um it just to me it just doesn't seem like oh yeah this is a person that you knew from your own social group and all of that stuff no this is a bit separate and outside of that world clarifying the six of pentacles we also have the four of wands okay so again another um strong more strong tones of this you know um not necessarily like soulmate or twin flame energy but i do from here i am seeing a lot of a lot of joy a lot of brightness so when this person was around you they certainly felt a lot of like they had a lot of fun either working with you or being around you or just whatever like collaborating with you being on the same wavelength as you so they had a lot of fun and to them it felt uncharacteristic for them to kind of let loose in that particular way so you kind of you had that tendency to spark some kind of either inner innocence or just like fun and play playful energy from them and and that kind of that's exactly what struck them the most about you um they typically just didn't they it, it's kind of like it they just weren't one to loosen up is kind of what i got you know like um it's not gender specific, but I, I got the image of the person, like, they're not one to loosen their ties, so to speak. Um, but around you, they just didn't care. They just were like, you know, being out of character. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see what else. Spirit, can you tell us anything about... Let's see. Let's actually look first at the death card, and then I'll look at some other ones. Um, Spirit, what can you tell us about the death card? What is that talking about? Death card, please. 
Okay, that was kind of a lot. Clarifying the death card. Look, we have the six of cups, okay? So I just talked about that playful energy. Look, okay? So feeling like a child or a teenager again, or if your person is if your person is already a, like a teenager or young, you just brought out a playfulness. You brought out a younger version of themselves that gave them that sense of joy. Okay, so we have that. Um, let's see what else. And yeah, I mean, it, it just it just keeps giving me that sense that like because of you or around you, they felt like that that blushy kind of feeling like, oh, I can break the rules kind of feeling like it's just very playful over and over again. It's, it keeps telling me that. And that's what offset them over here. That's what kind of like shook their balance, because normally they're this, you know, they're just very structured not authoritative but just very you know in that leadership role where like they're standing tall in their confidence you also have the seven of swords so i did say before with the moon card that i feel that they kept it hidden okay so in many ways they had to have this deceptive kind of energy they always had to put up a front and pretend not to even look at you or notice you but on the inside they were like sweating like you know like not in a gross way i'm talking about like they were just nervous and like that kind of cute nervousness um is, is what i'm kind of getting although for some of you you might not have thought it was cute um so we have that okay so it's not the typical type of deception um with that card that usually comes up <clears throat> okay you also have page of cups so page right like this the cups is like for love and that connection but the page it was an opportunity it was like a little spark of potential didn't quite go anywhere i mean at least in the time that you knew them it didn't right or maybe hey maybe for some of you it did I didn't think of that. Ex <laughs> I didn't think of that until now, but we'll, we'll see what goes on here. But most likely, it didn't. It didn't take off. Okay, and then we have the hanged man. So death card. So this could mean for some of you that um, the death card is all about the rebirth. You know, shedding the old ways. Some for some of you, they have tried to do that and shed those old ways of thinking and kind of surrender and let go because they just wanted to like cleanse their being, cleanse their mind of it. But um, but for some of you, it might have, <clears throat> this might be indicating that I am actually honestly getting a split of energies here. So some of them were trying to let it go, but for the rest of you guys, they were actually looking at it in a different direction, moving towards possibly progressing with it i'm not saying that they might reach out but it's like it, it's a split here so mm, let's get a little bit more clarity with some of the other cards though so but this is interesting um let's see all right spirit what else can you tell us um what else can you tell us for group one and who's still thinking about them spirit who's still thinking about group one and what's going on okay so you have that so from here look so that kind of does continue the story with the, the death and the hanged man because you here have the five of wands and the page of swords, which shows me that there's a lot of inner conflict and battle regarding the way of thinking about it and not having clarity about it. Okay. Um, so some of you, it might be that your person, let's say if they saw you on social media or they saw you just like somewhere that maybe they know where to bump into you or something like that maybe they still are having some conflict about these feelings you know because this is definitely a lot of conflict and inner disagreement here i'm getting that it's inner disagreement concerning the swords which does have to do with thinking and and clarity and decisions as well spirit um anything else for group one all right Ace of Wands, see, so could be hinting at possibly some kind of new new beginning or new choice. And then you have the King of Cups, so again, possibly something with a new beginning of something passionate or feeling um, or regarding this. Cups is all about love and emotion. Now that is the third king in a row that you have gotten. So 
I am really getting that this person is either older, experienced, or, or just something having to do with being in that there it's just that I don't get that they're like on the they're not on the same field as you or not to say status it's not like that at all it, it's just like yeah so it's either age or experience or just something that makes them a kind of come off as a little bit older more serious or something you know um hmm Okay, Spirit, is there anything else that you can tell us um, for group one who is still thinking about them? What's going on with this person? Okay, so you have that. All right, so I did tell you before about decision, and you have the two of swords. So there is just <clears throat> the thing about this connection here. I mean, maybe maybe they feel confused about it because maybe they only recently stepped away from you or you stepped away from them so i don't know it, it seems well either way if it was a short time or a long time it really does seem like it's fresh in their mind to the point where it's in their energy it's a lot it's kind of like it's something that they still think about frequently some for some of you this person might already be in a connection which explains that guilt from earlier if not them already being in a connection it just had to do with like something about um something about the crush that they had the feelings that they had something about it made them feel guilt for whatever reason okay um this is so funny so the whole thing it started off with work and then here you have the three of pentacles three of pentacles is a work about uh, a card about work and collaborating with other people isn't that interesting okay um yeah, here I'm getting it as that. Although I did mention um, that they might be in a connection, and this could also be hinting at that as well, perhaps like a third party kind of interference, okay? Wow. Um, pretty interesting. Uh, let's see if I can get any other clues for you guys. But hopefully this is already clear enough because it's, this is very specific, right? So this is not like your average, um, you know, just like random person in your social social circle or, or life this is just like a specific um energy that we're pointing to here um so let's see if we can get any clues at all i mean for you guys i didn't get any letters or anything really but we'll see if these cards will tell us anything okay Spirit, is there anything at all that you can tell us for clues as to who is still thinking about group one? What can you tell us about this person who's still thinking about group one, please? Let's see if anything comes up. Oops. Spirit, what else can you tell us about whoever is still thinking about group one? What are the clues or anything, energies? at all no that one's not part of yours okay so the first one you got was celebration this one could be referring to you know anything from like let's say for example um, a party a work event some kind of get together of any kind so not necessarily like festive, like, oh, it was a Christmas party. No, it was just something where a bunch of people got together and there was enjoyment. That's a celebration, right? So it could have to do with that. You have winter, could be significant for this connection. And then you have, um, <laughs> I'm going to get a couple more for you guys because I, I want you to have better clues than this, but you have May as well as purple let's see if anything else comes out man like i want to be able to but like i said you know it, it this is a very specific person you probably do know who it is and if this is not resonating at all then it means you know you might be in the wrong group spirit anything else at all um who is still thinking about group one these cards are kind of hard to draw sometimes 
Okay, we have the letter R. Could be first or last initial. We have the, the letter M as well, M and R, okay. And then finally we have the number nine. All right, so whatever resonates for you there. Um, I wish I could get you more info, but uh, I, I didn't really get, like, your person is, is quite, um, I would say, guarded in their energy. I didn't really get much of their physical appearance. I just got, the only vibe that I got was, like, the emotional aspect. So they're, in their emotions, in their characteristics in that way, they're very strong. So they, they definitely try to hide their emotions a lot. They, they mask it. So yes, like I said, the the age and the experience that I definitely picked up on. Um, they have a lot of inner sensitivity and a lot of feeling, but they try to pass it off. They try to like conceal that and, and really only show their confident and their successful side, but there's a lot more depth there. Um, yeah, so we have a couple of letters. Hopefully that helps. Okay, and the clues are here. Um, which cards did I use for you guys? Let's see. Let's actually just pull the deck that we used here, just to see if anything at all comes out. I, I absolutely cannot shuffle these the normal way. These are stiff as hell. Um, so let's just see. Spirit, anything, at us, anything else at all for group one and who is thinking about them? What can you tell us? Who is still thinking about them? For group one, who is still thinking about them? Anything at all? Anything else, Spirit? Okay. Two of Cups again. Whoa. These are strong feelings. Okay. That's the same one as this. All right. Very, very strong. Ten of Swords. So this has been really, like, bugging them and, and causing them some stress, to say the least. And finally, the Ten of Wands. Same kind of a deal. Okay, so burdens. So this is kind of bothering them more than they probably would have guessed that it, it is bothering them, okay? So for some of you, it was like, okay, an innocent little crush. But then others of you, it's like, uh, you know, something, something deeper. Now, if this was a different video, a different topic, we would be talking about if they'll reach out. But um, uh, I'm pretty sure I have other videos already like that. But for a follow-up one, I'll do that in time. But um, group one, that's everything that I have for you. Um, I mean, your person didn't really even reveal what they were thinking about. It just showed their guilt, the fact that they hide their feelings, and kind of feeling a bit nostalgic about the past when they knew you. Um, for a small portion of you, you might actually still be in some communication, but um, that the whole point of this was that you are not in communication, okay? So you have some clues there. Um, all right, that's all I have for now. And I guess we'll follow up in time to see. But yeah, group one, if this didn't resonate at all, feel, feel free to pick a different group. But that's what I have for you, okay? Um, all right, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next reading. Bye.
Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number two. So let's see. Spirit, this is for group two. And whoever's thinking about them still, please provide us with clear guided messages for group two and whoever is still thinking about them. Let's do, let's just do one more time. I have a good thing about threes, shuffling in threes. Okay, so Spirit, what can you tell us um, for group two? What are the energies here? Who is still thinking about group two, please? Look at how, look at that. Ah, what's going on here? Who is still thinking about group two, please? Spirit, what can you tell us? What are the energies? Whoa, what are the energies here? Okay. Whoa, look at what landed face up. Okay, four of wands. We'll get to that in a moment. Okay, let's see. We have the six. You have the six of wands. Oh, this was the first card. Yes, the world came up first. So what I got from that was I got a couple of things. This person who is still thinking about you is at the ending of a previous cycle in their life or in their spiritual journey. Also with the world, it shows that they had quite a feeling of fulfillment and completion when you were in their life. So going back to the first part, this is a person who struggled ceaselessly with their own imbalances, their own issues, their own darkness, their own ugh, they're just ugh, okay? They were struggling forever, and when you knew them, you kind of had to sort of like endure the effects of that, okay? So it, it wasn't pretty. So they're at the end of that cycle is what it's showing. So more cards are clearly going to show up because it's already hinting at it, but um, alluding to the fact that it's, it's kind of like you complete me kind of card. Um, they've gained a lot of spiritual wisdom. And from the beginning of knowing you, they acknowledged very deeply your spiritual wisdom. They understood that you were a very unique and high-powered kind of a being. Very psychic, very intuitive. They knew all of this about you. And I honestly think that this is partially what, what scared them away from you. You were very intense. You were very... Just everything that you said resonated with them in a way that terrified the crap out of them. Okay, now you already probably know what I'm going to say because you've probably heard it before. All right, now if this is a twin flame connection, they're the twin that ran. Okay, but we'll see. So that's what I get so far. Now, added on to that, a lot of brightness here. This uh, similar kind of a thing came up in the previous group, but here it's very strong, okay? There was a lot of brightness in the past. There was a lot of just um, a really balanced and purely connected, like that seamlessly connected energy. So two pieces of a puzzle fitting together perfectly. That's what I'm getting. At a brief point in time, they did envision their future with you but something swiftly took that away. I have no idea what it is yet. But there was a, there was just this abundance of joy, fruitfulness, and bounty in you guys' knowing each other. Such beauty here. Um, and success, right? So he had the Six of Wands, and when you guys were together or like really at your best, and that means the both of you, because that was kind of rare, you were rarely at your best together. So there, it, so kind of like saying that you guys were not in alignment with each other for most of you knowing the other person, but when in those few moments that you were in alignment with this person, it was just amazing. It felt like 
like that's if like you on the highest horse possible like success and victory and like you were so sure the both of you in those moments those those fleeting moments that that this was it and that like here is my prize this is the person i was waiting for <sighs> that that makes me very sad because um of the fact that you're not they're not in your life anymore but we'll see what's going on we have the knight of swords something happened here I just mentioned fleeting and swift and whatever words that were fast. We have the Knight of Swords. Something happened here very quickly, impulsively, abruptly, whatever. It happened to sever this connection. So I see the swords there, right? The swords, something here, cut those ties. Cut the cord that you guys shared. And it was quite devastating. And I'm surprised that this is, well, it might come up later, but like that was a very tower moment feeling, like this upheaval, this like, you can see the winds in the background, like this hurricane or, I mean, sorry, this tornado, like, you know, it was very shocking to the system. It's not showing up really yet, but I'm, it's, it's a subtle beneath the surface kind of energy that I'm picking up with that. Oh, and here it is, see, the burdens. So we have the Ten of Wands. This swift motion immediately caused burdens on this person's soul. That they, knowing this person's energy, they probably covered it up. <sighs> Gosh, yeah, that's probably what happened there. And then all of those visions and dreams that they had for the future, for everything with you, it just got further and further away and causing them a great deal of sadness that again, they covered up. Your person has a, that's like their, their coping method to cover things up, you know? All right. Oh, okay, let's see what else comes up. I'm already just like super heavy. Um, Spirit, what else can you tell us for group two? Uh, who is still thinking about them? What else can you tell us? What else can you tell us, Spirit? Who is still thinking about group two? Okay, this is new. This I'm going to get to in a second, but that I think is a good thing. So let's see. You have the hanged man. Okay. Then you have, oh, yes. Six of swords. Wow. There's a little bit of a gap here. Then you have, there's the tower. Look at the tower. Okay. It was inevitable because this energy is very, just very jarring very shocking and then you have look whew, nine of pentacles okay wow very interesting stuff and then we're gonna add in these ace of swords seven of pentacles your person okay let me phrase this properly starting with the hanged man some time has passed some of you it was like a couple of months others of you it's years okay Right about now, your person is in the hanged man energy. This is what I'm feeling very strongly. Your person in the hanged man energy, and I am sitting, seeing the letter H, by the way. H, N, H, N, and possibly for some of you, the letter D, okay? In either their first or the last name. So you have here the hanged man. Oh, holy sh... I didn't even realize. I was seeing a name in my mind. That's how it usually works with the readings I'm connected to, at least. I didn't get anything for group one, but for you guys, I'm connected to this person, so I saw it. This was unintentional, I swear to you, but I just noticed H, N, and D are, are literally in this card. But that's not, I wasn't looking at this word. I was looking at the last name I saw in my head. So for you guys, it might be H, N, or D. Again, D is only for some of you, all right? They're in this energy. This means and it's attached to this, right? This means that now is the time. I told you from the very first card, they're at the end of that cycle, cycle of pain, basically, of burdens, heaviness, and, and awfulness. They're at the end of that cycle. And it is now where they are beginning to surrender. <sighs> Finally, right? They're beginning to surrender. They're beginning to let go of whatever they don't need to be carrying around looking at things from an entirely different perspective, surrendering to the point where 
they will have that victory by surrendering the war. It, it, that's the hanged man energy paradox. Okay? They're moving on from something. They're moving on from past pain. Possibly, for some of you, they're moving on from a connection that they were in because you also have this energy here. Okay? This always reminds me of a singlehood energy, So, but that's only for some of you. But whatever the case is, they're moving on because they're ready to move on. They had a lot of help from spirit. They had a lot of help from... <laughs> I'm getting your person being completely bombarded by spiritual signs, left and right, every day, okay? So whether it was in the form of the obvious one like dreams, but for this person, they were hearing stuff, they were, they were seeing little signs, um, maybe they got information in the form of songs or spirit animals or colors or names, maybe they met a person with your name recently, for example, <clears throat> okay? They're about ready to move on because they're like, all right, spirit or whoever, universe, I get it, you know? They're like, I get it, I get the hint. So that, not to say that this is like propelling them directly into your arms or your path. This is saying that they are taking the reminders and the signs as the sort of like ammunition or the fuel that they needed to finally get to this point and move forward and move on. Some of them, they did not handle it well. They fought this for a long, long time. They fought this change, they fought this information and these messages and truths, they, they fought it. They raged against it and denied it for a long time. But, you know, as spirit always does, it gives us exactly what we need. And at a certain point, we can't fight it anymore. So I see your person like swept up in this storm, like a thunderstorm you know, with thunder and lightning and just chaos, I see them drenched in this energy and they are finally not fighting it anymore. And that's wonderful for them. Because you, can, you, can't, you can't do that forever. You really can't. Nobody can. Um, so now, this is what's coming for them. The energy of Nine of Pentacles. They're going to feel brighter. They're going to feel more confident, more stable, more like clear in their mind. They're going to go... They're going to use the signs and go with that flow versus perpetually fighting against it like they were doing for a long time, right? So <clears throat> I'm not saying that they're going to make a decision or a choice to do one thing or, or reach out or whatever. But what I can say is that things for them are finally going to become in alignment. Things are finally going to be spiritually prosperous again, and they're going to finally feel better. Now, this is going to take a while. This is the first time ever that I noticed this tiny detail on the bottom. It's a slug. I never saw that before until now. So this is going to take them... <laughs> if, if you're waiting for your person, I would tell you to have quite a bit of patience because that's literally a slug, okay? They're moving at a snail, or a snail, sorry, whatever, a snail's pace, whatever I just said. So they're moving at a snail's pace here. So it's like, it's even slower than the Knight of Pentacles, all right? Um, but it's coming. Your person is stubborn as all hell, right? And that's what's been taking them so long, but it's coming. And then you have this. This is why I thought this was great news. Ace of Swords, new beginning completely in a way of thinking. Whatever was going on here with this way of thinking that basically derailed them completely. This is coming in for them. A new beginning in the way of thinking and having clarity. Clarity is not to be taken lightly here because forever, forever, all they had was confusion. And now they're finally having that. And behind the scenes, Spirit is working really hard to plant those seeds. Your person is also, well, this, this person is also putting in that work, okay? They have already, but your Th this person, their energy, I, I have felt it many times before, they have a tendency to put in work in the wrong areas. So rather than focusing on spiritual or mental, like emotional development, they put it in towards too much, too heavily, the 3D world. And it didn't do good things for them because it just kind of shifted them in, in, in another way. All right, so let's see. Anyway, um... 
let's see if we can, so I gave you some letters, let's see if we can get any more clues just in case you're not sure who I'm talking about, but I do feel that you know who I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Spirit, can you please clarify the Four of Wands? Four of Wands, we have, okay. We have the Six of Pentacles and then the Eight of Wands. So I did mention something about reaching out. For a lot of you, that is going to happen in time after they become fully balanced. Wow. Okay. So you have that. Also with the Eight of Wands, for some of you, travel might be relevant if they live, you know, very far away. Okay. Let's see what else. Um... Let's see, Six of Swords. Spirit, can you please clarify the Six of Swords? What can you tell us about the Six of Swords? Okay. They were confused, Two of Swords. They were confused for a very long time about what decision to make. But then with the Emperor coming up, they finally, finally stood in their power and made the right choice in whatever it was that they were struggling to move forward from. They, they did it. Or they, well, they will do it. Okay, but they finally are able to do that. They're finally able to stand in this power, this authority, and that decisiveness. A lot of maturity. Okay, so if you did know them from, you know, way back when, and if they were very, very immature and just childish, the Emperor shows that they have made a complete turnaround. Okay, the energy is totally different now. Let's see. Spirit, is there anything else you can tell us about um, this person, this this connection? Anything else you can tell us? Okay. All right. Towards the end, well, maybe I shouldn't say the end, but like a little bit further down the line, I am really getting a strong hesitation while being certain on an intuitive level that this is the right thing to do, meaning to reach out. So they know it in their gut, but from all of their history, they have always gone against their gut. Remember the immaturity, okay? So later down the line, they know that this is the right thing, but they're so hesitant and wavering and going back and forth. Um, be, you know, because of fear, there might be other reasons, but mostly because of that um, uncertainty. Let's see what else you got. You have the Knight of Cups. You have the Magician. So yeah, movement here. Cups, movement towards love. Magician taking action. Standing in their power or manifesting. And see, King of Cups. The King. All right, so it's kind of similar with the Emperor energy. They have matured, they have evolved, and they have finally... Um, admitted their, the truth of their soul, the truth of their emotions. Um, that's all I can really say. I mean, they... Oh, by the way, there's a fish here. Some of them, for you, for some of you, it might be Pisces, the little fishy. Um, and, you know, all that water there. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I did this for the first group. Let me get your other um, deck real quick which is the one that you chose. I think, what is that called? The every the everyday tarot? So let's see if anything at all wants to come out. I'm, I Let's see if I can even shuffle these. They're kind of stiff. Oh, not bad. Okay. Spirit, are there any other final messages that you can give us about this connection, about this person that's still thinking of group two? Any other final messages, Spirit? <clears throat> the Knight of Cups came up again. So to me, confirmation there that there's definitely going to be movement in the air in the area of love or emotion. Um, for some of you it might be friendship, yes. Okay. Um let's see what else. Six of Cups. All right. So it just, again, it confirms like over here, you had that twin flame kind of energy. Yes. For some of you, this, this can certainly be a friendship thing. And, and this has to do with that as well. You know, like childhood friends, kind of a vibe, um, definitely tones of reconciliation here. 
but yeah, it could be possibly a soulmate connection again. And finally, we have the Emperor one more time. Some of you could be Aries, okay? I got Pisces and Aries. I try not to overload it with the Zodiacs because, you know, it loses meaning. But uh, but yeah, Emperor twice. So for some of you, it might be Aries or a fire sign um, or just someone who has really, really matured like I said. Let's get a final drawing here, even though I did get some letters, thankfully, for you guys. Okay, let's see. So usually when I get this energy, I do get a, um, a J or an S um, from a different part of their name, but if, like that's only like a lot of you resonated with that from based on the comments that I saw, but if it's not that, then I would trust these letters a little bit more, but um, I'm just pointing out that this particular person has those letters in their name, okay? Uh, well, from, from mine, from the energy that I draw at least. So it might not be for you, that part, okay? Spirit, um, any other clues you can give us for group two and who's still thinking about them? Any other clues? Okay, no, hold on. Spirit, any other clues for group two about who is still thinking of them? So I gave you some signs like two zodiacs as well, so hopefully that helps. Okay, woo, no. A little confused here in these cards. So maybe it won't come out, but let's let's just try one more time. <sighs> yeah, it's not it's not coming out, which I actually think is probably a, a good thing. Um because I am I do feel connected to this person, so um so that means I can do it myself. Um, let's see, any any other final clues here? This is the same kind of vibe that I got in one of my other readings where this person has very dark and, and just really intense eyes. Okay, so that's one thing. Others of you, you uh, might have resonated with the, the youth. So when you knew them, they were very young and immature, okay? Let's see, any other defining things? I gave you a couple of things. Um, let's actually take a look at one more thing. Okay, I can't reach. Let's take a look at this, just to give you perhaps a number, just in case if anything comes up. Okay, May, the, num uh, the month of May might have been significant for some of you in terms of reconciliation or departure or breaking up, like either one. It's different for everyone. Any significant numbers for group two? Any significant numbers at all? Definitely 11 and 22. That one I'm feeling from you guys. Um, but you do have here, you have a king, which I do think is just talking about the king energy. But you have a five. Um, that's the only thing that really I'm getting. I'm not really sure. Like something, something with five. So actually isn't... Um, yeah... So it could be, again, referring to the month of May, okay? All right, so that's what I have. I don't really think anything else is going to come up if I try. Um, oh, actually, what was this? The one that you chose from the very beginning was the Nine of Pentacles, okay? Your person is probably freeing themselves as we speak. They're, they're moving in that direction, okay? Ugh, okay, anyway, um, group two, that's what I have for you. If this didn't resonate at all, feel free to pick a different group, but that's what I have. Um, similar to what I said in group one, we kind of only got information on one aspect of this. It didn't really tell me what the person was thinking. It just pretty much showed me the journey that they're going through. So in a different kind of reading, we'll get that. Um, I do have readings for that. Um, what is your person thinking, feeling what's going on with them. I have I have a couple of those, so if you want, you can check that out. Um, but otherwise, this is the person that's still thinking of you, okay? I hope that you know who it is. Let me know in the comments what's going on with you, if it resonated. Um, and I guess that's everything, group two. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next reading. Bye.
Hey everybody, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number three, which is the blue card. So Spirit, this is for group three. Please provide us with clear, guided messages for group three and whoever is still thinking about them. I got the letter C almost immediately. C or possibly O? Yeah, there's a faint H I'm getting, but I, I didn't see that as strongly. That could have been like a last name or a middle name or something. But anyway, um, so let's see. Group three, spirit. For group three, who is still thinking about them? What are the energies there? Okay, so you already have a couple of things. What are the energies surrounding them? Who is still thinking about them, spirit? So this is a person who in your time of knowing them, they really felt a very, very strong connection and chemistry, specifically chemistry, okay? So there was some sort of strange divine connection between the both of you. I don't really sense that it was necessarily soulmates, but I do see that it was a strong chemistry and a lot of... Um, there was a lot of potential though weird to weird message there but there was a lot of potential with you guys but i'm sensing that you didn't quite you didn't quite think that this was the person you were meant to be with but at the same time that chemistry and vibe was unmistakable um so i am i am getting that this is like a romantic kind of a connection versus a friendship although it could be friendship as well but we'll see as we go along so that's the first part that i'm getting your person's very quiet okay they were very quiet, very like a person of few words, okay? I'm picking up on them being the king of pentacles, not just because of the gender, but I'm just getting that vibe. Um, they were quiet to themselves. They didn't really need to speak a lot. They just like, for example, if you were on the phone with them, they just could be silent for like a minute straight and not, it wouldn't even bother them. You have the 10 of pentacles, which to me, because you have the king and the queen of pentacles here, I'm just really getting that there was a lot of, I, I'm just really getting a strong vibe of like that you guys were magnetic with each other. There was a lot of abundance in that particular way. Now you also have here the, the eight of cups. Okay. So the, the answer here is that this person is still thinking about you, but at the same time, they've tried to just move on because they understood that there was really not a lot of future for whatever reason in this connection. It could be because maybe 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 you were already in a connection, maybe they were, whatever the case was. They just didn't quite see how it could progress. It it wasn't anything um it wasn't anything insulting towards you. They they just couldn't see a way to move forward with it. So they tried to move forward in a different path, okay? Of course, it sucked, you know, like it was disappointing and it was a bit sad, but at the same time, they weren't really trying to chase something that they couldn't have, okay? <clears throat> okay, so let's see. All right, so Spirit, what else can you tell us for group three? Who is still thinking about them? Who is still thinking about them? So right after the Eight of Cups, we have the Six of Swords. Same story there. So yeah, they they just, at this point, they it, their mentality was that the best thing for them to do was to let it go. Again, it was nothing bad about you. It was just saying that they, it just, they were seeing this as their best option, okay? But like I said, they still think about you, very heavy centered on the chemistry part, but not just chemistry. Um, they really valued your intelligence and your creativity, your your uniqueness, you know, how, how special you are. They really did value that. So it's not like it was just all about that one thing for them. So we have also here, Page of Cups. I feel that that's two things. I feel that they're consistently trying to start up something new for themselves in that area of love or or connection or friendship or whatever um <clears throat> they're trying they are trying to kind of 
move towards that and find some balance with those energies. But I do see that it's difficult for them. So whether it's that they can't find somebody who matches your energy or they just, maybe it's just not the right time for them, but they, they still desire that, but it's just not the right time for them in terms of their alignment. So they, they struggle. See, they keep wanting that. They want to expand. They want to venture out and have just whatever it is that's right for them, but it's just, there's still a little bit of struggle there. Um, I see this as actually the way that they see you, strangely enough. I see that they view you as the magician. They view you as someone who is quite magical, right? A, a manifester, someone who is just like, someone who can do anything. They, that's why they, they were really thinking about you a lot, you know? They really admired everything about you in that way. And in a lot of ways, they actually didn't think that they were on your level, you know? Because you're just so, like, on another plane of spiritual energies. Uh, Alright, so let's see. What else? We have also the Seven of Pentacles, Two of Wands. So like I said, they, they were trying for a long time. They were working hard on their expansion or looking into their future and some success in their future in all areas, especially especially love and friendship. Okay. And then we have this again, Ace of Cups. So it's kind of like for as much as they keep trying to move forward, they are often distracted by those overflowing feelings of chemistry. And for many of you, it was love. <clears throat> for many of you, it was that romantic love. You know, they. I, I, what I'm seeing from the Ace of Cups here is that they didn't always feel that way. But then once that feeling came to their awareness, it hit them hard and they felt very strongly towards you, you know? It, this, I mean, I know I gave you some explanation as to why they moved away from you or why you guys just sort of like had that distance, but to me, I'm still like, you know, I'm still a little confused by that, like, or saddened by that, I guess. I'm just kind of like wondering, is was it worth it or... At the same time, I did say from the very beginning that I didn't quite see a match made in heaven type of a thing. I, I just saw potential for it, but there was something that didn't line up. So I think, um, yeah, I think for, was it the previous group? I don't remember, but I had the image of the two puzzle pieces fitting together perfectly and they belong in the puzzle. Here, I'm getting two puzzle pieces that fit together quite well but they just weren't from the same puzzle. They just didn't belong in the same box. It was weird. Like, I, I don't know why. It's very, very strange, but interesting. Spirit, anything else you can tell us? Um, what sign was it? What sign was it? Um, one of the later signs. Uh, is it... Oh my gosh, what was it? Um, there, it was on the cusp. Um, I got a sign that was on the cusp. It was in October like in mid-October or mid to late October, it was the signs for that. I'm so terrible with this. Is it um, uh, Scorpio? Um, one of those. So like your person, I feel like, um, just like if it's not their sign, I'm getting energy from around that time that is significant to whoever this is. So whether it was their sign or it was just some significant time um, having to do with your person, that's what I got, like October, mid to late October. I got that. Could could also be for some of you, like, I don't know, Halloween. Maybe that could be significant for you guys. Let's see. Spirit, anything else you can tell us for group three and who is still thinking about them? What is going on with the energies there? Anything else you can tell us? Okay. All right. So like, you know, I, this, this is kind of painful to me because look, see, so you have the two of cups here. So, um, friendship definitely you know i know that the two of cups is a very strong soul kind of a love card but i am really getting strong tones of friendship as well a lot of love there from e either way you know a lot of care and that's why i'm sad that if you're not talking to this person i mean maybe you are sometimes but it's just definitely not what it used to be all right um so you have that you also have Ace of Pentacles. This could be referring to possibly a um, possibly a new beginning that 
could bring back some of that friendship loyalty or um, prosperity or stability that's that's for some of you only potential and look at how lovely that is ten of cups so we could be looking at not for all of you but we could be looking at the return of some kind of harmony or 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 joy um because these right here these last three cards that came up were very very beautiful positive cards okay um i do feel that in many ways that they still want you know they still do want that connection your that communication but let me just take one final look at at this here the moving on cards uh, the lovers came up um spirit what can you tell us about the let's see well these are to me they're very much the same energy the eight of cups and the six of swords um spirit what can you tell us about these cards here why did they move on what can you tell us about the eight of cups and the six of swords what was the reason behind it what was the energy let's see okay um gosh it didn't answer the question, but it did give me some background. Look, you have the sun card. There's just There was just so much abundance and happiness in this connection. And then you have the high priestess. It's kind of like on a very deep level. They feel so connected and drawn to you as if they know that on in some lifetime they were with you, that they belonged with you. But for whatever reason, I'm not getting that it's syncing up in this particular timeline. That's the part that perplexes me greatly. I'm just like, I don't get why. I wonder why that is. Um, Spirit, are there any final messages for um, for group three and who is still thinking about them? This, whoever this is. Any final messages or explanations, perhaps? What can you tell us? All right, so we have the Knight of Pentacles and then the Three of Pentacles. So the simple answer for some of you is that yes there is a third party thing so i did say it before whether it's that you're in a connection with someone else or that they are or you know whatever is going on so that could be part of it and with the with the knight of pentacles let's see the knight of pentacles i just see there, there's just a lot of slow movement for your person like i feel like the energy of them sitting on their feelings i feel like they will always kind of have those feelings and they'll just be like they'll, they'll just be existing with those feelings i don't really get the sense that that this is a type of person to reach out or and well not reach out to i meant to reach to to long for and to reach for something that is just not going to get them anywhere because it you know so they, they're very accepting of that. Man, okay. So finally we have um, the blue. So I did give you some clues already. I, I don't know. We can try to get something from here, but I already gave you some clues, so it might not even come out. Spirit, any final clues for group, um, group three and who's <clears throat> still thinking about them? Group three and who's still thinking about them? Oh, look at that. Friends. So yeah, you started off as friends, possibly. Maybe you still are friends. I mean, I hope that you are. But I can see why that would complicate the both of you guys' lives. Um, you have you have page, but I know that's probably not... Um, let me see. What was the page here? The page of cups. So this could just be simply talking about some potential for either either friendship or or something more and then you have next year let's get one last thing which is this um let's also take a look at what this is so you have the um the 10 huh okay which is also october i was gonna read it as a tarot but actually i, I do feel it's october is very important for you guys um let's just get some any anything final from this deck are there any other final messages or maybe numbers or something well we already got a number any other final messages for group three 
regarding who's still thinking about them. Okay. Let's see. Any other final messages for group three, please? Okay, we got. Um, did it come up? It did come up. This one came up again. Three of diamonds or three of pentacles. If I'm not mistaken, I hope that's right. Um, so basically, yeah, I mean, the takeaway here is if you're falling into the category that the person saw it as like, I don't want to use this phrase, but it comes to mind. They, they might have seen it as a dead end. You know, if you're already in a connection and you're committed, it's a long term commitment thing, whatever. They might have just really seen that as like, what what good will it be if I continue to pursue that? OK. So for some of you, it might be that. If that's not resonating, if you're not in a connection or whatever, I mean, they, they could certainly be in a connection. Yeah, that's probably what it is, honestly. But yeah, something having to do with third party-ness that is quite, you know, it, it's, it's blocking. It's blocking, okay? Um, all right, kind of kind of sad tones. Nothing devastating exactly, but th this to me is a bit sad. I, I do see a lot of... I do see a lot of potential here because of this, because of the fact that there's heavy friendship here, which I think is, is wonderful. You know, there's a lot of caring here. It's just like, um, yes, there's friendship, but remember what I said initially, there's a lot of chemistry going on here. So just like, you know, you guys are probably cautious about that, I suppose. So group three, that's, that's what I have for you. I hope that I gave you enough clues. Um, some of them I gave you earlier on, like, from the very beginning, so um, make sure to look out for those again uh, if you rewatch it. But that is what I have for you. So if it didn't resonate at all, feel free to pick a different a different group. Okay. Um, a, a last a, a final thing here. I got like this very very small glimpse. Um, some of you used to either you used to or like something about the way that you met might have had something to do with like. Um, this is a card of work and collaboration, so it, it might have been through that. I don't, like, maybe you guys did not meet through friends or through some kind of a social thing. It might have been something more, like something outside of social, like, um, work is only one example. I, it might not be that, but um, I think that you collaborated or, like, something having to do with that with this person. Group one got something similar, but that was totally work heavy for you guys. It, it's just like, um, I don't think you met through a group of friends or through like a cafe or something like that. Um, something about this card is, is special there. So group three, that's what I have. If you are interested in what the person is, is thinking or how they're doing in other ways, I do have other videos for that, but I'll also do follow-ups. But this reading was just asking, you know, generally who is still thinking about you, which we got, and kind of like the journey and the story behind it, okay? group three. So that's what I have. I hope this helped. Um, definitely let me know in the comments if it resonates. And thank you so much for supporting. I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.
Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number four, which is that orange card. Um, so let's take a look. Uh, Spirit, this is for group four. Just a, I just had like a brain fog for a quick second. That was very weird. Maybe that's telling us something. Um, yeah, maybe some confusion. Spirit, uh, this is for group four and whoever is still thinking about them. Please provide us with clear guided messages for group four. And whoever's still thinking about them. Okay, spirit, for group four, what are the energies here? Who is still thinking about them? What are the energies surrounding this? Who is still thinking about group four, please? Um, I see a person here who really tried to take themselves as far away from the situation as possible with the Two of Wands. Um, some of them might be very far away, so geographically or just like emotionally. And they were only looking forward on a new, on a new path entirely that was only for their benefit. Okay, so that's what I'm getting so far. Very specific message. Um, I wonder what happened here. Let's see. Spirit, what else can you tell us for group four? Who is still thinking about them, please? Okay, who is still thinking about group four? Okay, you have that. I think that they wanted to focus on money, career, whatever. Um, but they did it in kind of like, kind of like a, the word grimy comes to mind. A little bit of a cold and selfish kind of a tone I'm getting for you guys. Um, Queen of Pentacles, yeah, I, I was getting that they were focusing on something having to do with, with money or building some, building something in the 3D world for themselves. They're not a very spiritual person, at least not yet, that's not showing up. So you have that, you have the Page of Cups, they, they wanted a, like, a new potential beginning in terms of love or emotion or whatever for themselves again it's about themselves geez um and they're like there's just like this energy of them being very disconnected to you and to to spirit like I, i'm not getting a very good energy here you also have the page of wands so you have two pages in a row and uh i definitely see the page self coming out so very childish and could be impulsive or just like petty for some of you, immature for some of you. <clears throat> okay, so I'm not getting any any letters or signs in my mind yet, but let's see. <clears throat> uh, Spirit, what else can you tell us for group four? Who is still thinking about them? What are the energies surrounding this? What else can you tell us? Who is still thinking about group four and what are their energies? Yeah, see? Five of Swords, okay? There goes your pettiness. So there was petty battles between you and this person. Whether it was love or friendship, there was, there, there was, there was petty fighting and really, there, there were no winners here, even though they might have thought like, oh yeah, the last time that they spoke to you that like, oh, like they won the argument kind of a thing. Nobody won. It, it, I feel a lot of bitterness coming from this connection. You have the Three of Wands, similar to the first card, okay? They're focusing on expansion, getting away from, you know, just kind of running away or getting away and wanting good things, but they did it with kind of like a negative vibe to it. And see, look, Ten of Pentacles, okay? That's exactly the Queen of Pentacles that I got, uh, the energy that I got, and then this came up. So they're really just kind of focusing on that, you know? And it's like in a shallow, in a shallow way I got. Spirit, what else can you tell us for group four? Who's still thinking about them? And what are the energies there?
So some of you might be dealing with the Libra with the Justice card, but if not, again, this has something to do with either like either either the the monetary aspect of things. Some of them might have like legal concerns or like yeah, just something in the 3D world in that regard. And more of the money hungry energy look four of pentacles so they're just really focused on that really tightly wound um up with that energy there let's see spirit what else can you tell us about this energy this person see again look nine of pentacles it's like i mean i don't want to make it so one-sided here but it just keeps coming up you know so maybe it's not only about wealth but they certainly wanted <clears throat> like <clears throat> they certainly wanted their independence. They wanted their freedom. They wanted like that, yeah, that prosperity. And they wanted a lot of options, okay? Spirit, anything else you can tell us for group four and who is still thinking about them? So I am finally sensing a little bit of guilt because we have the the Queen of Cups that came up. So here I see... Here I see that... <clears throat> it finally came up that they have a little bit of guilt regarding the way that they ended things. Because they see you as the Queen of Cups. They are noting your... your care and your compassion and your... Uh, your kindness towards them so they do recognize that so that's like the only the only sort of hint that I got that they felt bad or that they they you know were thinking about you in, in, a, in that good light they were thinking of someone else besides themselves and you also have you also have the lovers card could be for some of you a Gemini perhaps a lot of up and down there with them and then you have the moon card so some of them could have been battling some, you know, deeper, deeper feelings. Again, I'm not really getting that it was like a deep soul love because of the nature of their energy. It's like a little bit on the shallow side. All right. Or just like super young minded, you know. Okay. Spirit, what else can you tell us about this connection or who is still thinking about good four? Wait, oh, too many. Hold on. What else can you tell us, Spirit, for group four? Spirit, what else can you tell us for group four? Okay, so we have here the Ten of Swords. Some of them some of them had a bit of bad energy bad blood concerning the way that things were left off they some of them felt that you stabbed them in the back kind of a feeling although i'm getting that that probably wasn't what actually happened okay but they felt that way um some of them were dealing with some issues of jealousy and insecurity regarding a third party perhaps and like they took that in the very wrong direction they they took it personally even though again i don't think that that's actually what the case was i just think that that's how they perceived it uh let's see if i can get any any letters or any signs or anything i mean i, I did get a couple of signs but i don't think that was too specific okay spirit what else can you tell us any clues about to who this person is who is still thinking about group four Okay, we have another 10, the 10 of wands. So um, there are some days where they feel a bit burdened or guilty. I don't really see that you guys were awfully close. You were not horribly close when you knew each other. Um, I mean, maybe some of you knew each other for a while, but it wasn't really like, it wasn't really a strong bond, like spiritually speaking is what I'm talking, is what I'm saying. Let's see. Uh, Spirit, um, is there anything you can tell us about who this person is? Who is still thinking about group four? 
clues as to who this person is, please. Um, you do have a lot of signs that are coming up, but I don't want to, like, you know, give too many away. But you do have the devil card. Um, that's a Capricorn, but, like, you just had so many here uh, that it, it's going to kind of take away from it. But you have the devil card here. You have the six of swords. <clears throat> and then you have... You have another five. You have the five of cups. So a little bit more of negative energy here, okay? So they were trying to move away from, like I told you, the very first card, they were trying to move away from the situation. They were just trying to cut all those ties. But then there are days where they feel regret for how they handled things. So they do have a, a deeper side to them sometimes, especially, you know, when they're just by themselves and they're really thinking about things. Um... Yeah, they have a lot of shadowy energy to them, just like a lot of, I mean, the only, the, the best word that can describe it is immaturity, okay? I do see that they have potential for some growth, that they have potential for depth. It's just not quite yet, okay? They're still going through it. They're still going through a lot of, a lot of growth and a lot of um, having to go through these trials and, and through a lot of mistakes is really what I'm getting from them. Um, so some of you, some of you, this person might have, uh, light eyes, maybe blue or green, and dark hair. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, I don't think that this is going to be the case for many people at all, so you might want to just ignore me, but I never noticed how on this card the people actually have reddish hair. I never once noticed that until now, so that might be significant, but only for some of you. So I, it, again, it's a general reading. It's kind of tough to say. Um, let's see. Anything else about who this person might be? 6, 5, and 15. So you do have a few 5s, though. Yeah, a 5 is kind of standing out to me, so that might be something significant. Um, could be either like a date of birth thingy, um, perhaps a month. Let's see, anything else? Spirit, do you have any other final messages at all for group four and who's still thinking about them? So just to clarify um, from the beginning, you know, uh, again, if it wasn't, if it wasn't necessarily wealth or money, it, that's not always a literal thing. They could have been seeking materialistic things, 3D world things, um, just on the superficial side. So yeah, like whether it was money or just like something else, um, I am getting heavy tones of like this person just always wanted more, okay? So again, it might not have been literally money, but that's the face of this energy. That's, that's the strongest energy. Okay, so we have, wow. This is turning a little bit darker for this person because you have three swords in a row and these are all very painful cards okay so we have some anxiety coming in for this person regarding what happened or maybe not even just about you although that doesn't help um the time that they're that they're transitioning into in their life um a lot of things are becoming clear about their life path and who they are and and really not liking who they are right now and that's causing them a great deal of stress they're feeling quite trapped in their own negative ways of thinking and they're feeling pretty conflicted uh for some of you february might be significant maybe their uh maybe their zodiac falls near there what is that aquarius and i forget um, i'm really terrible with astrology but yeah that might be significant for you guys uh the letter C and M, the group before you guys, I think, was it the, I forget which group it was, but yeah, I think it was the group before. For you guys, I, um, I think they got a C, but for you guys, I got a C and an M. An M, possibly an I. Um, I try to give a couple of letters because obviously there's many people watching, so it, it all of them won't resonate, but I did get M and I. Um, I don't want to give too many again like if I give too many it just like takes away from it But um, some of you I did get R possibly for last name or like the middle of one of their either their first or their 
middle name. Spirit, do we have any final messages for group four about who is still thinking of them? Ah. Um, okay, so I did see, you know, potential. I do see a bit of, I do see a bit of growth from from this person. Not that it's relevant to you and that, you know, you're gonna, like, reconnect, but just for them and their story of what's going on here. I do see some stability, potential for stability, reaching the end of that chapter of their lives and kind of coming full circle, you know, balance and and perhaps some harmony again, and uh, movement towards what actually is important to them, like their passion. So that's for them, you know. Um, let's get some final things with this here. So this card that we had was the Queen. Oh, that's interesting. This one was the Queen of Pentacles, which was the first card that came up, okay? But this time I see it actually as, as you. They fully <clears throat> were aware of how much you took care of them. That was obvious to them. And that's what makes this very crappy like energy because of how selfish they acted. So they were fully aware of how much you were a giving person, how much you cared for their every need emotionally and and and, and practically. And they were they were very much aware of that. And I do think that on dark nights, they remember that. Gosh, um, let's see. Final messages here from these cards that you chose. Oh, I forgot about the, the words, but. I mean, this one, I, I'm not, uh, let's try to draw just one because I gave you a couple of clues. Uh, I did tell you about physical. Yeah, I did tell you about physical. By the way, um, when I said, I mean, I said dark, well, again, it's, it's tough, it's tough because it's a general reading, but let's see. Spirit, anything else for group four and who is still thinking about them? Um, be careful with the physical appearances one because it's either one or the other usually. Um, meaning, like, they don't have both attributes that I, I, I mentioned. Um, hold on. For group four, please. Who is still thinking about them? Um, so for some of you, E might be relevant if it wasn't those uh, letters I already offered. Before um, you have the zodiac cancer, or perhaps the time of cancer, which I think just... Uh, did it just pass? Yeah. And then you have, um, you have sunrise, which I do think that is referring to... Um, their potential and I reach you through signs. So maybe I, I honestly just think that maybe you thought of them briefly recently I really don't see a lot of heaviness to this uh, Connection, but you know, it's it's interesting to see who's still thinking about you, right? Um, and then finally spirit any other any other final messages for group four and who's still thinking about them? any significant cards or numbers Okay, so you have double here. Okay, you have the two fours um so to me, I, I would, I'm not going to read it as the tarot because I do see here um, balance. And I also see that some of you have been seeing repeating numbers lately. Okay. Now, just as like a sort of spirit message here, um, I see, well, what I'm getting from this, spirit is kind of saying that um, if this situation was disappointing or, or painful for you guys, the 4-4 four, four here is showing me that this uh, spirit is saying that this connection was purely meant for your growth, okay? I do not see that this person is someone that is like in your, in like is going to be in the stars for you. I, I don't see that at all. I see that as this was your learning experience, that you gained a lot of self-respect from having learned from this because of everything that you gave to this person. You have learned not to give yourself away to people who don't appreciate you, okay? So I feel like that's the biggest takeaway. I feel like that's a significant message for you guys here. I'm getting a lot of that you have gained, um, I said self-respect, a lot of self-love here, okay? So that love, um, and the two four is balance. So you guys really came into a lot of balance and a lot of, um, so love, 
and and clarity. So we have um because that represents the the cups, uh, and as well as the swords. All right. So that's what I have for you. Okay, group four. If this didn't resonate at all, feel free to pick a different group. But that's what I that's what I have. I hope it helped and um and gave you some clarity. But let me know in the comments. You know what's going on with you. Now the reading today was just to really answer that question who is still thinking about you so we did get those energies we also got some extra energies about their journey and just some little tidbits of information here okay but if you want to know deeper into this into this person and what's going on with them i do have a couple of uh, past videos for the for the topic like what's going on with the person what are they thinking what are they feeling whatever i, I have some past ones only check those out if you feel called to it you know um, if not, you know, obviously that's fine. And uh, we'll get more info in some follow-up readings after this. So group four, that's everything. Thank you so much for tuning in and for supporting the channel. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.